Hey everybody, this is John Corcoran from Smart Business Revolution and in this quick video I'm going to show you how you can create a blog in under 10 minutes to grow your network, your impact, and your income. Of course that latter part is going to take a little while to work on but a blog is really one of the foundational pieces of growing your network, growing your impact, and growing your income. And I have certainly found that my blog has enabled me to do that. And there are hundreds and thousands of examples of others who have done the same. So let's just talk a little bit at the outset about why you would want to set up a blog. And then in a moment, I'm going to hop over to my browser and I'm actually going to walk through the process of setting up the blog. So you can literally look over my shoulder and watch the process so that you can do it yourself. Because I want everyone who's watching this video to, uh, after watching it, immediately go through doing it yourself. So let's just talk about how you can use a blog. It's a great way to grow your network. It's a great excuse for meeting incredibly successful individuals, VIPs, top performers in your industry or in an industry you want to expand into. Not everyone's working in a job or with a business that is making them happy. So it's a great way to expand your reach and meet new people, often in conjunction with a podcast, which is another thing I recommend people to do. Uh, it's a great way to share your expertise, which is also another way of growing your network because people hear about you and you become known as an expert in your area. It's also a tool you can use for promoting your own products and services or those of a friend or those of someone who you really believe in or a company that you really believe in. And it's also a great way to earn commissions for promoting other products and services. So now I'm just going to hop over to my browser and here we go. This in the browser here is uh, my affiliate link for a hosting provider, which will help you with setting up the blog. An affiliate link uh, means, of course, that I would get a commission if you do use my affiliate link. But I'll just have to say about Bluehost, pretty much all the hosting providers provide some kind of affiliate commission. So it's kind of equal in that regard. But I recommend Bluehost because they're incredibly reliable. I've used them for my sites. They have great customer service. Um, it's a great product that they provide. It's definitely affordable. It's a, it's a cheap way to go when you're starting out and you want to keep your costs down. Um, and overall, it's just a great product that they provide. They also are one of the few companies that are actually recommended by WordPress itself. The actual uh, company recommends Bluehost. So that's certainly saying something. So you don't have to use my affiliate uh, link. I will say that um, if you do, it doesn't increase your cost at all. Your costs are still the same. So just go over to smartbusinessrevolution.com slash Bluehost. We're going to go over to that page. And I'm going to walk you through the process. You see they have different pricing structures here for how much they charge. And we're just going to click on Get Started Now. And then we're going to go to New Domain. So at this point, all you really need to have is your credit card out. And you have to have an idea of uh, how much you want to spend and what you want your domain to be. So I'm going to just type in John's Easy Blog Setup, which Dot com, which is probably not taken. I don't believe it is. And we'll click next on that, move on to the next page. And on this page, uh, it says that it's available, so that's great. And then on this page, I'm going to fill in my details, my first name, last name, um, address, and whatnot. And then you pick the packages down below here. So I'm just going to fill it in real quickly. I use uh, last pass for that. And then I'm going to scroll down and here are the different package information. Um, the different options, depending on when you're watching this video, the prices might be slightly different. Uh, but the longer term you purchase or pre-purchase in advance, the, the lower it's going to be. So if you buy three years in advance, you get $4.95 a month. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty good deal. So I'm just going to select that option. Um, these options down below, I don't believe they're absolutely necessary. Um, Domain privacy, that's hiding your address. So if you're going to use your home address and you don't want that to get out there, then you might want to include that one on there. Um, if you're using a PO box or a business address, it's less important. Um, and then you can go down and enter your billing information, enter the uh, expiration date, and the code. 
and then scroll down, click that you have uh, read and agreed to the terms of service, and then click next. And this might take a little while as it processes, and then it will go to the next page where you can, uh, I believe it's add-on services at that point. Yeah, these are add-on services which you can add, and I don't think that any of them are really necessary to add on. You can buy additional domains if that's of concern to you. Uh, the .co, .org, .net, all those different options. Um, so you can kind of just skip down past all of these, click complete. Congratulations, purchase was successful. So they are sending an email over to my account with the password, and I will go over and get that. Um, and then you also create your create your password here, and the other details are going to be in your email account. So I'm going to click on create your password. And of course, you want to write it down. So put in some kind of unique password that um, you will remember. And they're saying it's weak. So strengthen that a little bit. Uh, let me do a better one. There we go. And then do create. Okay, takes a little while to process. There we go, and now it says to just enter your password, and then you can log in. And then here we are on the C panel, control panel, um, and they've got an introductory video here for you, and they've really streamlined this since the last time I set up a blog, which is uh, quite nice. And click on cPanel here, it's logging you in. Okay, now what you want to do is install WordPress. So you can just go down and click on WordPress. Okay, here we go. And you can just click on Start, Brand New Install. Which domain? This domain. Check domain. It could take a couple of minutes depending on your server, it says. How do, it looks like the files already exist. Okay, maybe we're, how do, we'll just do continue. Last step, you're almost there. Read to the terms and conditions. Install now. And there you go. Now it's giving us options of different themes that you can install. Um, that's one of the really cool things about WordPress is that you can use different themes that kind of change the look and feel of your website um, very easily, swap it out very easily. Um, but we're not going to do that for right now. It's actually still processing in the background, as you can see up at the top here. It shows the status. Um, and then once it's installed, you'll be able to go over and start with your first blog post. But there are plenty of free themes out there. There are also paid themes. I use one called Generate Theme, um, which is a copy blogger uh, product. They have what's called a framework uh, called Genesis that is the overall framework that supports um, the look and feel of the site. Uh, and Generate is one of the uh, individual themes that they sell. I think it was around 100 bucks when I bought it. And so it, it is useful to get um, an actual paid theme, I think, because um, I used a free one for a long time, and they just don't have as many bells and whistles. It's not as customizable as, as you might like. So it looks like this should almost be done. There we go. Your install is complete. So click on View Credentials. My installs. Good, now we're going to click on that. Now here's what the page is going to look like. Hello world. It's just a basic setup for now. We don't have any um, blog posts yet. And of course, you can change this pretty dramatically by swapping out the themes. Um, so, But basically, it's all set up. I mean, the site is there. Um, you're good to go. And it's um, 
from that point forward, it's all about customizing things, uh, entering your own blog posts. And um, I hope you will check out smartbusinessrevolution.com where I uh, write a lot about how you can use your blog in order to nurture relationships with people and use those relationships to support your business, to attract more clients, customers, and increase your revenue. So thanks for watching this short uh, video on how to set up your own WordPress site.